for an idea of what life could look like under those proposed measures, the French can look to their German neighbors. Earlier this month, Germany made vaccination a requirement for access not just to bars and restaurants, but also to all stores selling non-essential goods. The German government is also considering following in the footsteps of neighboring Austria and making vaccines mandatory for all adults. France 24's Berlin correspondent Emmanuel Schaas has more. The main measure that has been implemented since uh, mid-November, since the new uh, measures taken to try and curb the uh, infections, is called 2G. So that stands in German for geimpft or uh, genesen, that means uh, vaccinated or recovered. Uh, and uh, this will depend on the hospitalization uh, rate uh, for 100,000 inhabitants. So when it's superior to 3, which is the case at the moment, it's uh, by a 4.5 at the moment per 100,000 inhabitants. Uh, well, this 2G is being implemented. Uh, it means that, for example, to go to the restaurant, to go to the museums, to go to shops, except for uh, essential shops such as supermarkets, pharmacies, for example, well, you will need to show your vaccination pass or prove that you have recovered. Uh, so this uh, also will change. For example, if hospitalization uh, rate uh, rises as above uh, 6, uh, well, you will need uh, the 2G+. plus. The plus stands for either an antigen test or a PCR test. So uh, those measures uh, have uh, been uh, implemented mid-November. And on the incidence rate of the, uh, of the virus, well, it has simply halved the incidence rate. We were at uh, almost 500 cases per thousand inhabitants mid-November. Uh, it was the end of November, pardon. Uh, and we are now by uh, 222 uh, cases per 100,000 inhabitants. Uh, that added to recommendations of the government to limit your social contacts uh, ha have uh, decreased the number uh, of cases. Uh, today, uh, we are at uh, around uh, 13,000 uh, new infections. We just have to keep in mind that Omicron is actually, uh, uh, you know, uh, gaining more and more uh, ground and, and uh, infecting more and more people. So uh, uh, the government is a bit worried that uh, two weeks after Christmas, when we will really see the, uh, the effect of Omicron, those uh, infections uh, rates will really increase again.